What up everyone, Donald here again with another video editing video. Um, I got some juicy, a juicy one for you today. Um, most of the stuff that I've shown up to this point has been little small things that you can do that are usually done. Uh, now, but this one, this is a trick that depending on what your needs usually are, this could potentially save you hours of work. And I do, and I'm not exaggerating, I do mean hours. Before we move on, uh, if you do me a favor, leave me a like and subscribe, comment down below this video, and share it if you if you like it. Um, it would I would greatly appreciate it. So we're gonna move over here now. You'll see I have a command written out to the right hand side. We're gonna get to that in a minute. Now the people who are gonna get the biggest benefit from this from this are people who um, record like work being done. Um, probably the biggest ones maybe being like artists recording when they're doing like like artwork on a computer or just like actual art like physical art um and you typically want to take this recording and do something with it like make some content out of it well um something that usually you do is you kind of clean it up so that if there's a bunch of downtime in between stuff happening that you get rid of it so you just get like a constant motion of things happening now doing this by hand can take a long time depending on how long the recording is you know it may take half an hour it can take hours depending on how long the recording is but i have a a little command here using ffmpeg that if you run this it's going to remove those what's called frozen frames from your video so a frozen frame is where you have a section of time in your video where it does not visually appear to be that anything's happening. The, the video is still playing, but it appears frozen, hence the name Frozen Frames. Uh, what this ends up doing is it removes all the frozen frames and adjusts everything left over so that all you get is just the actual motion, like the raw action happening in your recording. Um, and this can have a significant effect on the duration of the video. Um, I have ran this on 12 hour long recordings and cut the, the length of it in half so that all is left is just like just good information. Uh, so we're going to have a, uh, a before and after to show you what what this will look like. So we're in my wife's Animal Crossing recording thing that I like to use a lot. And specifically, we're going to look at the um, clip I took out from another video of the actual creation process of her making this little Overwatch beanie. So we're going to just kind of look over this real fast. And you may, you even, even now, you can see sections where she's pausing, maybe she's thinking, and it there's lulls in the action basically. So, and keep in mind this recording. I believe is about, yeah, it's 15 minutes long. Now, you'll see the command over here on the right hand side. It makes use of two particular filters to achieve this effect. Um, one is called MP Decimate. Now, you may hear that name and go, I have no clue what the hell that does. Well, you wouldn't unless you read the documentation on uh, the FFmpeg filter site. So, what MP Decimate does is it analyzes all the frames in the video and if it finds a sequence where it doesn't look like anything's changing it will remove all of them but one so that you only get the you know the the one piece of information that's actually useful now if you just ran that by itself you would basically get a section where nothing happens because so a bunch of frames have been removed but uh the the video player doesn't know when to play the stuff left over. Then you're gonna make uh, use of this other filter called set PTS. Uh, what set PTS does is it updates the presentation timestamps on the frames that are left. So what you get is a nice clean playback of the frames that were kept after the frozen frames are dropped. And the the effect of this is actually really amazing. So 
I have already ran this command over here on the right, and I'll, I'll just type it out to walk y'all through what exactly is happening. So we're gonna have ffmpeg dash i. I'm gonna be using the creation um, dash vf. Basically says we're gonna pass the video stream through some filters, and we're gonna do mp decimate is the first one. It has to be the first one. The ordering does matter. And then we're gonna do comma to say well we have another filter. Then we're going to do set PTS. Now, this, what is actually going on in this set PTS thing looks weird. I don't actually remember what this is doing because I, I found this somewhere else. The only, but I, the only thing I know is that this is updating the leftover frames to have the proper presentation timestamps. So they, they all happen one right after the other. Uh, so one caveat with this. And you will notice I'm using the dash a n flag that I showed in the last video that removes the audio. MP decimate only operates on the video part of the media file. It does not touch the audio. What does that mean? So if you use MP decimate and it removes some frames, uh, and you and you leave the audio in, the audio is going to be all desynced and it's going to sound like shit and make no sense. So for that particular reason, I find this the most useful if you're going to rip the audio out anyway, to say put your own track in, or if you're gonna say um, like, uh, like uh, talk, like annotate over what's happening. Uh, I use this frequently for making time lapses, which is the most useful thing I have used for. Um, and then you would just call whatever you're gonna write the file out to. I called it, um, I call it I call it creation decimated, so I know that I basically removed all the dead frames. Now I'm not going to run this because this is not a quick process. Uh, it has to go through the whole video stream, then re-encode it. Because again, if you've seen it earlier video I did, if you use fil if you use any filters when you're using FFmpeg, you cannot copy the uh, code the encoding of the audio or video stream over. It, you have to re-encode it, which means this this takes um, the ping on the length of recording, uh, yeah, you know, at least five or ten minutes. It depends on the length of recording. Um, I've ran this this exact command on a twelve-hour recording, and it took, I think, an hour and a half to run, which sounds like a long time. But one, it would have taken way more time for me to go through it uh, myself to do the same effect. And that's also an hour and a half that I wasn't actually working on it. It was the, you know, the, the, the program was working on it. I was doing other shit while this was going on. Now to show you what this looks like after this has already happened, I have ran this command, uh, prior before recording. So we're going to see what this looks like, um, after it has been decimated and all the frozen frames are dropped. Um, something you'll notice almost immediately is that the duration has been cut significantly um look how much faster this is going all that downtime all that downtime doesn't exist this went from a 15 minute recording to just under two minutes that means there was about i don't know what was that like 80 85 90 percent of the video was you know, stuff not happening this is basically the the meat of the creation process this is much more um, beneficial to work with if you're making like an art time lapse. So you could take this, this really clean recording and shrink it down to a, a video of whatever size you want it to be uh, to create whatever content it is that you want to make. So yeah, there you go. This, this simple little command here looks like it's not doing a whole lot depending on what it is that you need to do, can save you hours of work. Um, I figured some people would really, really find this particular trick useful compared to just the small little tricks I've been showing you all up to this point. And now if this video helped you, um, again, uh, leave me a like, uh, subscribe if you haven't, share the video if you think it could help someone else, and leave me a comment down below. And with that, y'all come on back now, and I'll see you next time.